Hello again, EDF friends. Welcome back to our challenge run. We're beating the whole game, Solo, Inferno, Online with Limits. Um, we're on mission um, 40, or uh, 39 here, rather, sorry. Um, this mission was pretty tough. I wanted to show you a few strategies I tried with the Ranger first. Um, right, the first thing I tried with Ranger was Healing Bomb and G&M. And as long as you take the NPCs um, with you, the ones that start at the beginning, and just go straight back, just keep walking straight back, and uh, using your GNM, um, it's not too bad because you know the GNM shoots through enemies, and you have a very long range. So of course you can shoot through multiple enemies that come straight at you, and then of course the drones also just kind of jump in front of you as well, so you kill those as well. But um, I was able to get pretty far with this. Um, I was able to kill the first wave, um, which is a bunch of ants and drones, and then the second wave, which is spiders, to the left of you. I was able to do that with Ranger, and I was able to get to the uh, first dropship and kill the first dropship and um, the ants that came out of it. But the issue was the queens, of course, which I figured it would be. I, mean, I was able to run away um, from the queens and try and chip them away slowly with running, but the problem is there's red drones also on this mission. And, uh, you know, they hit you once, you lose uh, well over half of your health uh, online by yourself. So it was kind of rough. So. I, c I think I could do it with Ranger, but I just decided to do a different class because I'm always being stubborn um, trying to play uh, Ranger only, and I don't want to do that on this challenge run, of course. I want to do other classes. But here we go. The spider phase is coming here. I'm just still going backwards, shooting healing bombs when I need to on myself. Like, whenever I get low on health, what I'll do is I'll walk, walk a little bit forward, and then I'll shoot the, the NPCs to help them out in addition to myself because it's such a big blast radius. But... Um, I do cut here um, when I get to the ship because I do finish it here. I do finish this phase and I go to the next ship, but I decide just to cut it just for time's sake here. So this is pretty much the majority of the enemies. Now I just run around and kill the, the stragglers. And now here's where actually the ship opens. So I'm underneath the ship. I have about six NPCs. And if you shoot straight up, you're able to kill all the ants that drop out of it in addition to almost the ship. So now I just finish off the ship here and then... Um, the NPCs are still with me. I use some healing bombs on them, and then I just back straight up, and then we try and kill the queen. Um, I do wind up killing the queens, but like I said, the drones just kind of mess with me, and I just figured, you know, I'm just going to move on, because I tried, I want to say I tried this again, um, probably for, I don't know, four or five hours with Ranger. And I, I do think it's possible, but like I said, I just didn't want to mess around with it anymore. I figured I'd do another class. So here's where I... I'm just going to the back corner, trying to kill the queens as I back up, and I still have the NPCs trying to heal them. There's actually two sets of fencers that spawn um, later in the mission as well, which you can grab, which I did. So uh, um, that helps out as well, because they're very fast. They dash around a lot. And they're actually kind of funny. It's kind of hard to catch them, because they're always dashing around so fast. As you can see right there in front of you, they just, they just always are moving around, which is cool. So it makes them actually survive a lot longer. But um, I do wind up dying, like I said, on this run. Um, from a, uh, I believe it's a red drone, but so I'm gonna cut to my next uh, strategy. So um, the next strategy I wanted to do was air raider because I, I figured air raider would be so easy on this, and so I figured you know I'll try air raider, and it turns out yeah it was extremely easy with air raider. Um, I took a bombing plan, I took strafe plan, and I took zexar guns, and then the fire vagalta. So here I'm gonna cut to this footage where I actually beat it first try, actually first try on the air raider because it's just so easy. Um, like I said, because this bombing run level 43 is good on hardest or lower of course and then his strafe plan uh, x5 and then um, like I said Zexar guns and then I, I like to fast Vigalta the fire Vigalta for speed but uh, a little bit too easy with Air Raider in my opinion so I, I wanted to do a, a strategy with another class so I wound up going to wing diver at the end but here we go I'll show you how easy it is to kill everything at the beginning here um, like I said in the, in the past I don't really care for for how cheap his air raids are in this game um, they're very cheap uh, especially the bombing runs, and the bombing runs are amazing this time around. They're actually better than the straight plans, uh, it seems like in most cases, unless you're trying not to hurt your friends up front lines. But um, you get them back just about every time. As you can see, there's four four lines of bombs that drop in. They drop in relatively fast, too. So I'm just backing up, calling in bombing runs, calling in straight plans, always getting them back up, getting my vehicle out. And once I get in my vehicle, it's safe. So that's the toughest part, just get into your vehicle the first time. But after that, um, the Vigalta, I think, has, I want to say, we'll, we'll see here in a moment, but it has like 70,000 health. Uh, me and my friend were, were talking about that recently and wondering what in the world were they thinking 
when they were given the health to the Vigaltas because every other vehicle in this game didn't seem like the health was upgraded. Um, <coughs> whereas the Vigaltas in the previous game, they had about 20,000 health. This thing has 76,000 health. <laughs> I think the Proteus has only 120 or something. It's like, really? <laughs> it, it's strange. Like It's almost like one one developer or one one game creator was was uh, getting the memo about upgrading the vehicles, and the rest of the people didn't get the memo, and, and they just upgrade the Vigaltas only. But but oh well, yeah, Vigaltas are king this time around. So once I get in my Vigalta, I'm fine. I just now the spider phase comes in. I throw my bombing run towards them, throw my strafe plan, just as much as I can, just keep throwing bombing and strafe plans back and forth, and uh, that's pretty much pretty much it. Pretty easy. And then I do them. I don't know. I don't know if I really needed the Zexar guns. I just picked them just for like the straggler enemies. But I guess technically the Vagalta was just as good to kill to kill the straggler enemies. So I probably could have took another another um, strafe plan or something. So I get in our vehicle, throw that out. I have a bunch of vehicles now. Just finishing the remaining of the enemies. There's not too many left. Um, now I'm going to cut to 2x speed because now I'm just killing off the straggler enemies because it's. There's, you have to. The way this mission works is, um, once you kill the first two phases of enemies, and you kill enough of these mortar frogs, then the ships open. So, it seems like the, the game is based on points this time around. Where once there's a certain number of points or less on the map, like enemies-wise, then the next phase happens. So, now I'm just going to heal myself up here, get a new vehicle. <coughs> excuse me. And then, <coughs> and then I'm going to head back to the ship. Actually, wind up losing more health trying to get to the health, which is funny. But uh, yeah, now I'm just going to now move towards the ship so that I can actually. Oh, actually, I think I think to grab the fencers first because I do have some NPC health over here. I do grab them, but you, as you'll see, it's pretty funny. It's hard to grab them because they're so fast. So now I'm gonna jump over to the fencers here because they didn't even get hit really because I was killing everything so fast that nothing really got to them which is cool so as you can see they're just they're just dashing around over here and <laughs> you'll see I struggle quite a bit trying to catch them because they're always moving like right there you think I would grab him but I couldn't grab him and there we go I think I finally got him and then there's there's two sets but they're like super aggressive look at these guys they're just just constantly dashing around it's hilarious I mean it's cool but it's funny all right so now I have finally grabbed the the two fencers now I'm gonna jump over to the ship and kill one more enemy, I think, and then the ship opens. And uh, pretty pretty short work with the Vigalta. I mean, I can just absolutely destroy the ship fast with the Vigalta shotguns. And then after that, I just throw bombing pan bombing plans and strafe runs on the uh, queens, and they're dead. So so yeah, that's I find myself. If you're an Air Raider lover in this game, you're going to really enjoy Air Raider, I think, because he feels like the super class this time around, honestly, because he has so much damage, and his Air Raids are so cheap, and then he has reloadable beacon guns, reloadable turret guns in the background, his Vigaltas have ridiculous health, so, like I said, he's very, very strong this time around, and uh, um, just for me personally, I, I, I prefer... I just don't care for how almost a little bit too easy it is to play as him, so I haven't been playing as him as much, but he is definitely probably my favorite class as far as all the changes he has this time around. It's so good. <laughs> and like I said, you're going to love it if you love Air Raider. But, um, so I kill one ship. Pretty easy. Drop bombing plan on the Queen. She has no chance. Level 43 bombing plan too, by the way, because I, I think I can use level 70 or 80. I can use level 80 weapons, but I can take a level 43 bombing plan, and this thing is absolutely amazing because it's so cheap and it's so strong. It does 2,000 damage per rocket times, what does that say? I can't read it. 20 times 4. So 2,000 times 20 times 4. So I don't even need to add that up in my head, not that I could, to, to know that's a lot of damage. I'm actually, I could do that. Uh, 2,000 times 20 is 40,000 times 4 is 160,000 damage. Probably, maybe not. Uh, 160,000 damage for a level 43 buying plan. And like I said, the buying plans are nice because they're very short, so they hit a lot of targets in a, in a tight area. And of course, explosion, the blast radius also gives them more damage. So, But this is a very good vehicle. 
It's the best fire Vigalta. It's very fast, and it has, you know, the flame for close range, and then, <coughs> excuse me, I don't know what's wrong with my voice. The flame for close range, and then the shotguns are just absolutely brutal. So, pretty cool. Kill the ship really fast here. And there we go. And then just one ship left, and then the two red drones. And, you know, the two red drones are an issue for me, because, as you can see, they just hit me, but... I have so much health with this Vigalta, it doesn't really matter. Um, so... Okay, so I have another bombing plan, I'm gonna drop on them. I have another vehicle... <laughs> so crazy. And then I just kill these queens with my, uh, bombing plan. Look at that, it's so cool. It looks so good, too. And then I, I kill them with the Vigalta, and it's fine. And then I have another vehicle. So yeah, from my experience, it does seem like the vehicles you can't call as often as an EDF-4. I've used him enough to where it definitely feels that way, so... But that's, that's, like I said, that's fine, because he's still super strong. So now I have a brand new one, so that's fine. Go over and kill the last ship, and then... Red Drones, and that's it. So, like I said, I decided to do... Because this, this was too easy, I, I decided I wanted to, to actually challenge myself, so I, I just went ahead and did a Wing Diver run, which... Isn't, you know, isn't terribly hard either because she can fly, but I'll show you what I did. I, I dropped my health down to 5,000 too, um, because I think sh her max was like 7,000 you could have on this mission. I'm not sure, 7,000, 8,000. But, uh, I decided to do Wing Diver. It took me, it took me a while to figure out a good strategy, honestly, because the red drones are always an issue for low health, and, uh, also just her energy consumption, because you have to be very mobile. So, I'll show you what I did. I actually used one of my quick tips that I made earlier, which is um, using a low-level weapon on Inferno or yeah, on Inferno difficulty. So, um, like because of the low energy cost of the lance. So what I use for her is I use a a low-level lance, a one-shot lance that shoots through enemies. It does 19,000 damage, has 140 meter range. Of course, it has damage fall off. Uh, Quite a bit, actually, on max range, but still very strong. It only costs, I want to say, it was 38 energy for this lance, and, and I, I think it was level 40 something. And like I said, you can lose, use level 80 weapons. So I, I skipped the trial lance, level 76. I skipped the level 60 something lance because that cost 120 energy, and I went down all the way down to the level 40 something lance that only cost 38 energy. So I, I really didn't have too much energy consumption air issues to worry about, which is cool. And then, um, for my second weapon, I used a level 15 <laughs> rocket launcher, which is another low-level weapon. So, once again, using low-level weapons at Wing Dever on Inferno is pretty pretty cool this time around. And I use that for the majority of the enemies. And I'll show you how I how I do it here. So, this is the end here. I do finish it. And, uh, there we go. Not too bad. Still have a bunch of vehicles alive. And I thank my Vigalta here at the end because he was the MVP. Because the tanks don't have much health this time around either, so... And they're not as fast. Because there's a super fast one in EDF-4, but I don't think there's that super fast one in EDF-5 this time. Which is a little bit disappointing, but... All the tanks seem the same speed, at least the high-level ones. Alright, let's go... Now let's go to the cut here where I actually play Wing Diver. And this is my official... I'll, I'll, I'll put it as the official run for this mission, is what I wanted to do. I actually spent all day, on my day off, on, on these runs... And then part of in a couple hours of my other day, my second day off. So it took me all day to do all this stuff. So I spent a lot of time and just it was fun. So right at the beginning, I'm going to grab the NPCs and I'm going to use the lance. You actually can use the lance. It, it's not as it's not like it used to be where it would boost you into the air, but it does boost you a little bit. So you can use the lance to push yourself further back. I'm going to go to this little house and I'm going to kill some of the drones that I can see until the NPCs get closer to me and all the ants are clustered up so that I can shoot my my rocket launcher on the group of ants and kill quite a few of them. That's my plan. Um, also, my energy core is level 80, which has the 30% flight speed increase, which I really love um, because, like I said, it lets you fly really high with low energy cost. So here we go. I'm going to shoot a rocket there, and I'm going to shoot one more rocket just because I'm going to kill the majority of these ants. And, uh, and then I have to focus on drones next. That's my biggest concern. So now I'm just going to um, use my lance and uh, just try and kill as many drones as I can. And it does one-shot them for the most part if they're relatively close. Probably like, you know, 60, 80 meters. Because, like I said, it does 19,000 damage. Very strong. 
And I'm just going to start moving to the uh, back right corner. Um, and the NPCs, I think, are still alive for a little bit up there. But I killed the majority of the ants for them, so... Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to... There's, since there's so many drones, and they're picking me away, you know, picking away at my health for so much, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to another building, which I'll show you, which is a cool place to hide and get your energy back. Because right now I want to get all my energy back, because I'm kind of low because I use the rocket launcher. So now I'm going to go down this street. So I go straight back and then to the back right corner, and now I'm going... Um, once I get to the back right corner, I'm going to go forward now along this street. And there's another building, just like the other, the previous building I was in, that also lets you stay there inside, which is right there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to there just to get my energy back uh, temporarily, right in here. And this is a good place just to hold up, get some energy back, kill a few drones, and hope for some health drops, which I do get. I do get a couple health drops. There's one right there. And uh, this is a good place. I'm actually tried... Oh yeah, also, um, not to change the subject too much, but I, on my Ranger run, I had some really good success with the D110 shotgun, the one that shoots 110 projectiles. Um, I was using that and a, and a collection ring, and I was able to just go straight forward with the NPCs and just survive um, with the D110 shotgun. The only problem was the reload time, of course, but the healing ring was healing me, and I was using the D110 to kill a majority of the enemies. I made it pretty far, but the spiders usually got to me. I also tried Ranger in this building right here with the fire and shooting in front of me, but that didn't go too well. So anyway, let's go back to this mission, uh, this run. So now I'm just getting my energy back up, killing as many drones as I can. I'm waiting for the ants to come after me because there's really no need to to leave this building since I'm you know mostly safe until the ants actually come and make me move. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just waiting for to see an ant and then I run away. And then what I'm going to do next is, um, I just I, I found out that it's a pretty good idea. Here's an ant, so I'm going to leave, get some healing, and then leave. I'm going to fly up to one of the top of the ships here, um, and I'm just going to fight on top of the drop ship to kill all the drones from up there, because there's really no need to push the phase right now. I'd rather just get rid of all these drones, because the drones do not respawn, so, you know, might as well get rid of these drones. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fly up top, and it's actually pretty, pretty, uh, pretty good to actually fly on top of a ship and fight the drones from up there. So that's what I'm going to do. So perfect timing. The spiders just spawn in. And uh, I'm going to fly up here. And also, I, I found out that the key to flying is, especially with the 30% flight speed thing, is don't hold the trigger down constantly. Just kind of feather the trigger because she kind of floats a little bit. So what you can do is you can still be keeping your height and then letting go of the, of the trigger so you gain some more energy back and then hold it again and keep flying up. So kind of feather the trigger, it makes it a little bit easier. Or it makes it a little bit more efficient with the energy. And here we go, I'm just going to fight now these drones up on top. Um, and then once I kill all the drones, then I can go back and kill all the enemies that are down below me to go to the next phase. But this is actually... Um, this, this drone ship is, is relatively safe. You can kind of use it to hide in here, but it's not the greatest. But, uh, but yeah, I'm just going to finish up these drones here. Then I'm going to move on to the enemies below me. Um, the, the, uh, the frogs, the mortar frogs, can be a little bit of a threat up here, because I have gotten hit in the past where the, you know they would actually shoot me up here, but it's not terrible. I think I could take one hit from the mortar frog. I think two might kill me, I'm not sure, but I don't get hit here. But uh, but yeah, you do also, also have to be careful with these buildings, because sometimes the enemies can get on top of the buildings and get near to you, but I don't think that's an issue on this particular mission, but I don't remember. Now I'm going to rain down some of these rockets, which is which the cool thing is, you actually can, if you're, if you're staying on the ground and you shoot this rocket launcher, you're constantly gaining energy which is ridiculous. It, you're only gaining like four like four or five a second, but still, that's quite a bit. But it's pretty fun to just rain down this huge mortar, slow-moving mortar plasma, plasma shot down at the enemies below you. But we'll see some better, some better views of that, because I'll have like... At one time, I have like, I don't know, 50 or 100 ants, excuse me, below me, and I just shoot a rocket on them all. And it does one-shot graze, so that's pretty cool. So now just finishing up the last few drones. They're, some of them are kind of stubborn sometimes, but because uh, those are the only things that can really chip away at me up here. But really, I mean, any class can go up top of the ship. I mean, you can use a ranger helicopter to fly up here. 
or aerator um, up here as well. If you can actually get up here, that's that's the tough part with aerator getting up here. But because of all the enemies, he might, they might kill his helicopter. But uh, yeah, it's it's pretty valuable on this mission to go up here. And I figured I'd be using that strategy on this mission. All right, so I think there's just a couple more drones, and then after that, I'm going to fly to a different ship and uh, get ready for the red drone ship. Red drone ships that come out. Now I'll show you what I learned of how to beat the red drone ships with the Wing Diver, which is kind of cool. Cause I thought I, I originally I was going to take a, I think it's called a Psy Psyops Psy Psy Blade or something. It's like that mind-controlled sniper rifle that has like a 20 meter blast. Um, I tried that. I tried that thing initially to try and kill the drones, but I, I kept hitting myself. Um, having issues with the explosion hitting myself, so I, I stopped that. And then I was going to try homing grenade, but that just takes forever. So, um, so, so turns out I can use the lance to kill the red drones, believe it or not. And I'll show you how I do it. All right, first of all, let's get, let's get a nice shot on these all these enemies. Oh yeah, That's so crazy. You get so many items on this mission too, and just from the excessive number of enemies that come out of these dropships. I was looking at some of the missions coming up, and I was thinking it was going to be easy for a while, but no, it's not. Like, I had this mission to deal with, and then the next mission is tough, too, because that's where you have to actually um, kill the crab. And that's a very tough mission, unless you have Air Raider, so I'm not sure if I'm going to do Air Raider or not with that. But, but yeah, we'll see how, how that's going to work. But yeah, i got to kill these mortar frogs, because that's what causes the next phase to happen. From what I can tell, it seems like once you kill all of them, the next phase happens. But yeah, it doesn't take too long with this, this rocket launcher. I don't know why I had the lance out. Maybe I was thinking, oh, there's a drone here. That's why I wanted to finish this last drone. Because I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to be distracted with any other drones in the air, so I know which one's which. Because I'll show you on the, if you look at the mini map on this mission, you can tell which, which what red dot is drones, just the way they move, because of just how they move in such fast patterns. So I'm able to track them, and, and uh, I'll show you how I hide and uh, fight them. But a couple more rockets here to get to the next phase. And then we'll be at the last phase. Those mortar frogs have so much health on on um, Inferno Online by yourself. It's ridiculous. It's tough for a ranger to fight them unless you have like that D110 shotgun. However, however, if, if you do, if you do take the lance that I have, the 19,000 lance, um, and you just dive bomb straight down on top of their head and shoot one shot, um, it, it one shots them. Um, I was doing that a little bit too when I was fighting them on the ground, but because yeah, originally what I was doing with Wing Diver was I was just circling around the map and fighting them with the lance, but I mean that works too, but this this just seemed to be faster because I didn't want to make I didn't want to make the video too long, so I'm trying to keep my videos like on the challenge run like 30 40 minutes but uh and, and then using 2x speed if i need to on certain parts to keep it that because i don't want to make it too long of course but uh but i do want to show like you know some pretty cool strategies or things that i've uh, that i was that i was trying with so here here comes the red drone so as you can see if you watch the mini map you can see them move really fast and that's this is not the secret of how to fight them but the secret is go underneath i'll show you where i hide but you go underneath that little part of the ship to hide to get your energy back and you fly straight up and if you fly straight up they don't hit you they, they miss a lot um, so here, here I'm low on energy so I'm going back in here now I'm watching the mini map right now to see, as you can see the, the, the two dots fly to that side of me and now that now they're ones flying back over to the right side it's pretty easy to follow them if you uh, play this a couple times so here he is now I'm gonna fly straight up again and, and wait for a drone to get close to me and then just fire on top of its head because they don't they don't get the, like right there they don't really raise their altitude too quickly so if, as long as you're moving straight up they always miss so that's pretty cool to, to find out so that's how you kill these red drones with wing diver and you could probably do that if you didn't have a dropship either you just fly down below buildings and get your energy back up then fly straight up and then just wait for the drone to get near you and just shoot from the top of it like right there and then once you get low on energy, go back down, 
and uh, get your energy back and do the same thing. And it seemed like this is a good strategy to fight the red drones. So right there I make a mistake where I was actually um, not flying up. I was actually staying in, in one position. I got hit, but uh, I'm able to take half of a hit with the red drone. It's fine. So I think I get hit one more time too and I get down to like a thousand health and I'm able to recover. So now I'm just trying to keep my eye on the drone, make sure they don't get into a view where they can hit me. And then just do the same thing. And these things die relatively quickly, especially with this lance. As you can see, that one's about dead. One more hit, and they'll be dead. And I miss, of course. And I miss, of course. And I make the mistake of staying at one altitude again. I get hit, so... <laughs> Oops, sorry. That would be my phone. I should probably beat that. <laughs> anyway. Um, now, uh, of course, I miss that shot. I'm, I'm always been bad at, like, single-shot weapons. I mean, I do okay because I've been practicing this mission for so long with this lance. I was killing stuff decently, but I'm always bad at, like, you know, charge up that one shot and you gotta make that one shot count and then, you know, make your shot. But I always I always miss that kind of stuff because of the pressure. I put too much pressure on myself. But when I don't think, that's when I do better. So that's, that's the key, just don't think. <laughs> and this one's down to one shot as well. I think I killed before I land. I'm not sure, I don't remember. Because I, I just played this, so I'm just commentating right after I played this. <coughs> no, I guess I do have to go back up one more time. But yeah, these things have quite a bit of health, but, you know, with the Lance, it's fine. I thought about taking Gungnir instead of the rocket launcher, but it would just slow down the process for the small enemies, so I figured, keep the rocket. As you can see, he misses because I'm going straight up, so... So that is definitely the secret to fighting these drones. I'm pretty sure I kill it here. I didn't think it took me that that many more tries, but it's all about getting a good view on that, that uh, drone. And meanwhile, those ants are down there. They can't do anything to me, so the queen ants. Alright, full energy again, and I think I killed this time. I don't remember it taking that long. And... Give me kissy. Oh my goodness. No one saw that. I should cut that, actually. You know what? Maybe I should cut that. That was a bad miss. There we go. Okay. <laughs> now, I have... Meanwhile, I have 500 enemies below me. And that is not hyperbole. Or hyperboil, as I like to say. I'm going to get my energy back, and I'm going to um, get some energy. I'm going to get some health first, just to be safe. I mean, I don't need to, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to fight those queen ants below me with the lance instead of the rocket launcher to be faster. So I'm going to use that lance tactic where you shoot in the air just to uh, push yourself forward. And as you can see, my energy very strong, or it stays full because, like I said, using this low-level lance, it's good enough on Inferno, even solo. So, I mean, why not take, why not take the low-level lance and you have no energy concerns? Because I tried this, like I said, with the other lance that costs uh, that costs four times as much or three times as much as this one, and I was always struggling with energy. So um, I always prefer having more energy than having more damage, personally. All right, so now let's drop some some bombs below me, which should be some fun here. There is some enemy stuck on the building, but we'll take care of that building here in a moment. Yeah, there's not too many here, but I need to uh, get these enemies off the building. That's what I go and kill that building next, I think. There's still one mortar fog alive, too, which is funny. I'm kind of surprised this thing one-shots the greys, honestly. I think later on, like later missions, it won't. But uh, for now, it does. Yeah, right here, look at this building. This building has so many ants stuck on it. It's so funny. I decided to destroy that building just so I can have more fun. There we go, that's better. And now I just dive bomb the, the wasps. And as you'll see, if you watch my energy when I'm fighting the queen wasps, I can fight for a really long time in the air with this lance. I really love this lance. Yeah, this one does 14,400, and the other one that is three times the energy cost, it only does 19,000. So it's only 5,000 more, you know, it's not even worth it to take it. And the Tri-Lance costs, I think, 120 as well, and it shoots three shots of 14,000. So, I mean, this thing does pretty close to... I mean, it does one shot of the Tri-Lance, pretty much, which is good enough for me. Even though the range isn't the greatest, but, you know, it's good enough. Shoot a few rockets there. 
And then dive bomb again on this queen. <laughs> that big splat is so nasty. That big brown stain. Look at that texture work. Oh yeah, I was noticing with the uh, PS4 Pro, like the um, there's some frame rate issues on when the rain on the raining missions for some reason. The rain just is apparently causes some bog down. It's not terrible, but I think it's more noticeable on the non-pro version, um, for sure. But uh, the pro version, this seems like the only time it kind of struggles with frame rate. I mean, it doesn't feel bad, but it feels like I don't know, 25 frames or something instead of 30. But as you can see, I can stay up here a really long time and fight with this lance because it's so weak, so cheap. I love it. And let's let's be a little careful here. As you can see, I let go of the I feather the trigger. Like I'll I'll have the trigger on for like one second, then off for one second. Just try and get some energy back in the air while I'm doing that. So now I'm gonna go up here, get my energy back all the way, and then I can fight and finish that queen off. And then that's it. And then the ships aren't too bad. There's actually a new, a new wing diver platform that she gets a little. They like they like put a little footstool there for, her so she can stand and shoot the ship, which is kind of funny, which I'll show you here in a moment. Oh, there's still two queens left. Okay. Yeah, there's there's uh, I don't know if there's three or four queens in Inferno. I want to say I remember four, but I thought there was only three before, but I don't know. Check the tape. Check the tape. Yeah, unfortunately it's the same thing, where the, the queens, when they're about to die, then they look damaged. I wish they would have changed it to where they were, they're half damaged, or half, you know, half, when they have half their health, then you would see the damage marks, so it's a little bit more obvious, but it's no big deal, but it would be cool, I think. As you can see, I can fly, fly up here forever, it's so cool. And then the, the little bit of boost that the, the lance gives me to shoot straight up, helps me out to stay in the air as well by shooting downward so so yeah this is a great core like I said the flight speed one is one of my favorites unless you need super speed then I'll take the 100% dash but alright now we're gonna fly to one of these ships and kill the ships it'll take too long only about three minutes left of the mission and then I'll be done here this is pretty quick this last part but I'll show you I'll show you where I stand this first ship I don't stand. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was worth it. <laughs> Alright, so here's the little platform you can stand underneath, which is kind of cool. It's like they almost did this on purpose, because why else would they have this here? Look at this little platform to stand on. Like, why would they make that there, unless it was for wing divers? Alright, I'll wait for the ship to open. I make them... I don't... No, I wouldn't say a mistake, but... I think it's cool. You know how, like, the... the um, the doors that open out of the ship, I like how they they spin around because it makes it more tough for you to hit them now. So now I go back to my wing diver platform here. So see, like I said, since they're spinning, it, it's harder to snipe them because you know before in the other game they would just you know stay open. So this is a, this is where I should have been the whole time, just stand there and shoot it as it goes around, which I do on the next three ships or two ships rather. But yeah, we beat this mission. Pretty cool. Pretty happy. Um, I spent a lot of time on it, but it was pretty fun. I enjoyed it. Um, oh yeah, <laughs> the reason it took me so long was because I was doing this wing diver strategy, and PS4, the PlayStation Network, was having issues uh, December 3rd. So it kept kicking me off. Like while I was in my room, it kept kicking me off. Like after the PlayStation Network was back up, like it was down for a while, then it went back up. When it went back up, it was still unstable. It was kept kicking me off. So I would like get to the end here, and it would kick me out of my room. It happened, I want to say, two or three times to me. So 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 disappointing. Because um, I had it. You know, it was a perfect run, perfect video. I was gonna make it, but nope, I, it disconnected me. So very unfortunate. I was telling my friend, um, I've been an Xbox person for seven years on Xbox Live. I don't remember ever having an issue with the network getting kicked off ever. Um, Whereas I've been on PlayStation Network for two years now, and it's happened it's happened to me where I couldn't play or it was unstable, I don't know, eight, nine times already in two years. I can't believe it. Like <laughs> is PSN this bad or has it just been this year? It's so crazy. 
but yeah, I mean, I have nothing against PlayStation. I mean, I just always been Xbox because that's where my friends are at. But, uh, but yeah, it's, I just disappointed in the PlayStation Network stability, at least the last year or two. So yeah, here is this is the end here. So uh, that's it. So um, pretty happy with the strategy. It was fun. Um, and uh, so thanks a lot for watching and continuing on this journey. I hope you continue with me as we try to beat this whole game. And then DLC, we'll be moving to the English version here soon. So, so yeah, uh, thanks a lot for watching. And remember, EDF doesn't leave a man behind, ever. And also, if you'd like to help uh, support the channel, please consider liking and subscribing, as it does help uh, more people find the channel. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. <laughs> いいぞ。無事で良かった。退却は完了だ。解消する。